Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Drills back with another tutorial. A lot of people in my community have been asking how do I make a normal map, like how do I make my normal map better, how do I use my normal map to induce sparkle, stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you what I do uh, using Photoshop and yeah so i'm basically going to start with this this is just like a basic texture which i've used for a chain in the past so as you can see we've got some different texture components we've got like an encrusted diamond texture component we've got actual diamond looking components another form of like a glittery encrustation and obviously we've got our metal components that being said we've also got this black square which is just if we want to add a little black outline to something just to make things pop out a bit more but anyway this is how we're going to do it now we're going to want to actually separate these parts because we're not going to want them all the same for instance the metallics they're not going to have a bump map because we want it to be smooth metal same with the black same with the diamonds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag some rulers out and just try and drop them roughly on the edge of the selections all right so i've added the ruler guides and this is basically going to help us to box select things um like so because we're going to need to separate the parts that we want bumpy and the parts that we want smooth um so first i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this like so, we're gonna need to make sure we go back to our layer one and select it. Then I'm gonna copy this part. Again, keep making sure you're selecting layer one, otherwise you're not gonna be copying anything. And then just one more for the bottom part. There we go. Now, if we turn off layer one, and let's clear these guides. You can see we now have our texture and it's in separate layers. All right, so if we delete layer one, and then if I merge down, this layer now that's our non bumpy components and then I'm going to do the same thing with these two I'm gonna drag them down to there I'm gonna merge down so now we've separated our bumpy components from our shiny components so now we're gonna add actually the normal map itself so for the non bumpy components we're gonna go to filter going to go to 3D, generate normal map. And because we don't want this texture to look like this, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the blur all the way up. Turn the detail scale down a bit. A bit more. Just until we get something like this. I mean, to be honest with you, you could just select the color and paint over it, but maybe if we just have it that, it would just give it a little bit more light refraction. Okay, now we're gonna do our rough bump map. And what we're actually gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to get a bit more definition on the bump map. As you can see, this is very gray. Um, it's more white and gray than anything, but Blacks and whites will make a better definition between what's high and what's low on the bump map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to image adjustments and levels. And if we pull this white slider down, it's going to go while. And if we pull this black slider towards the middle, you're going to get something like that. And this is the type of thing we, we want for better definition. Um, obviously, you can mess around with it, tweak it, get it however you like it. but just something like this will be a lot better than just using it as normal okay now we're gonna go ahead and add our normal map so filter 3d generate normal map
and for this one you're going to want to turn the blur all the way down you're going to want to turn the DL scale all the way up I'm going to make sure these are on 100 and hit OK So yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, we've got the different textures. We've got the bumpiness, we've got the smooth part. If you zoom into this, this is a very dense texture. If you zoom in, you can see the bump definition a lot more, but it is there. You just need to zoom into this one. And obviously the one on the right, you can see it a lot more better because the bumps are larger, so they're more defined. Um, but yeah, that, this is pretty much it, guys. All we're gonna really need to do now is just, of course, save it. Um, we're gonna save it as a DDS. I don't know what DDS plugin you use, I have two DDS plugins so basically we're gonna go file we're gonna go save as save on your computer um, and then you're gonna select your DDS plugin whichever one you use and you're basically just gonna click it and then just whatever it is just hit save and yeah that's basically it guys but yeah I hope this tutorial helped you please hit that like and subscribe if it did help us to grow the channel even more we've recently just hit partner so thank you very much for everyone that's tuned into the video so far hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything in the future of course and don't forget there's a discord we've got a large community in the discord i'm gonna leave the link in the description but until the next video this is drills over and out peace